Did you know that almost every darts player has been banned by cheating at some point? Today, we'll talk about some of the top darts players who have faced bans from the sport, some for more than a year. From drug tests to match fixing and brawls, these players have been involved in some controversial incidents. Richie Burnett is a Welsh PDC Tour card holder and former world number one. He won the 1995 edition of the BDO Lakeside World Championship, beating Raymond van Barneveld in the final, and the 1994 Winmar World Masters. He reached the final of the 2001 World Match Play, where he lost to Phil Taylor. Burnett was set to play in the 2015 World Championship as the 26th seed, but he was removed from the field just a day before the draw of the event was set to take place. The reason given was personal reasons, but later it was revealed that Burnett had been given an 18 month ban from darts, which ran from November 2014 to May 2016 after failing a drug test for cocaine. Burnett argued the ban was effectively two years and two months because he would miss PDC qualifying in January. Andy Jenkins is a three time PDC major semi finalist and reached the final four stage of the 2007 World Championship. He was nicknamed Rocky due to his rough personality, which shows in his history of incidents. Jenkins received his first ban from the sport in 2008, after he was involved in a fist fight, which saw him punch Irish player Mick McGowan at the PDC German Open in November 2007. Jenkins was given a year-long ban, which was reduced to just three months, as nine of the months were suspended. Andy Jenkins was banned for a second time just a year later, where he was involved in a fight with Terry Jenkins at a Dutch Players Championship event in Newland, which saw Terry punch him. He was charged with bringing the sport of darts into disrepute and given a fine of £500 and banned for two years, 20 months of which were suspended, which meant that he missed four months of action. Jenkins received a three month suspended ban in 2019 for using homophobic language towards a match official at a Challenge Tour event in late 2018. Gilbert Ulang is a Filipino player who represented his country at the PDC World Cup twice. He managed to qualify for the preliminary round of the 2017 PDC World Championship at Alexandra Palace after winning the Philippines qualifier. However, nearly two years after the game, Ulang was given a seven year ban from darts after being found guilty of match fixing during the game in which he lost two set deciding legs. In the deciding leg of the second set, Ulang threw three scores of 45 or lower and miscounted on 100 and 970,000. 797 pounds of bets were placed on Ulang's match by a group of gamblers who were known to each other. And a report by Wayne Mardell was used to show that Ulang was guilty. At the hearing, Ulang stated that he did not deliberately throw his match, but was suffering from jet lag and the fact that he was drunk at the time of his match. His ban is set to expire in December 2023. Don't forget to hit the bullseye to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. Also, take a look at our website for the coolest darts gear ever. Now, Back to the video. Next on the list is Ricky Evans, a professional darts player from Kettering, England. Evans is known for his rapid throwing style and has won one PDC title, the 2021 International Darts Open. However, he also has a history of disciplinary issues. In 2016, Evans was fined £1,000 and given a suspended three month ban for making an obscene gesture towards the crowd during a match. He was fined a further £1,000 in 2018 for failing to attend a drug test at a player championship event. Evans admitted the charge and apologised for his mistake. In 2020, Evans was involved in another incident that led to a fine and a warning from the PDC. During a match against Gerwin Price, Evans appeared to flick his middle finger towards his opponent. The incident led to a heated exchange between the two players and resulted in Evans being fined £1,000 and warned about his future behaviour. Last but not least is Gerwin Price himself, the current world number one and reigning PDC world champion. Price is undoubtedly one of the most talented players in the game, 
but his career has not been without controversy. In 2018, he was fined £21,500 and given a three-month ban for his behaviour during the Grand Slam of Darts final against Gary Anderson. Price was accused of deliberately distracting his opponent and was also seen to celebrate in an aggressive manner after hitting a winning double. Price's behaviour was heavily criticised by the darts community and many believe that the punishment was not severe enough. However, the Welshman has since redeemed himself and become one of the most dominant players on the tour. He's won numerous titles, including two world championships and is widely regarded as the best player in the world right now. Kevin McDinn is a professional darts player from England who's had a number of disciplinary issues during his career. In 2011, McDinn was banned from the professional darts corporation PDC for six months and fined £3,000 for bringing the sport into disrepute. This was due to an incident at a tournament in Germany where McDinn was reported to have been involved in a physical altercation with another player. In 2013, McDinn was again in trouble with the PDC and was suspended for a further six months for breaching the organization's code of conduct. The suspension was due to McDinn failing to attend a drug test after a tournament. In 2016, McDinn was banned for two years by the Darts Regulation Authority, DRA, after he tested positive for cocaine following a tournament. The ban was backdated to December 2015, and McDinn was also fined £1,000. So, in summary, Kevin McDane has been banned from playing darts on several occasions for various disciplinary issues, including physical altercations, breaching the PDC code of conduct, and testing positive for cocaine. The coronavirus pandemic of 2020 saw webcam darts tournaments gain popularity, and gambling companies began offering odds on events like the Modus Live League. In August 2020, two players who participated in the live league were suspended by the DRA after being investigated for alleged match-fixing. The International Betting Integrity Association raised the alarm after suspicious betting behaviour was flagged. Both players were found guilty but were given different punishments. Kyle McKinstry, who had reached the quarter-finals of the World Championship and World Trophy in the video and played in the 2020 PDC UK Open, received an eight-year ban from darts due to match fixing in his match against David Evans in April 2020. Initially, McKinstry failed to cooperate with the DRA by not providing his phone itemised billing. As a result of the long ban, he parted ways with his management company and issued a statement stating that he had made a bad choice at a bad time in his life. Wessel Newman, who appeared on the European Tour and won a development tour event in 2018 and 2020, was also banned for match fixing during a game with David Evans. Newman received a five-year ban, with two and a half years suspended on the condition that he engaged in player education and anti-corruption measures. Newman admitted to accepting payment to lose the match 4-0 and cooperated with the investigation. He stated that he had been pressured to lose the game and had made a one-time stupid error for which he was rightly being punished. Newman will be eligible to compete in darts again from February 8th, 2023. In conclusion, the sport of darts has not been immune to controversies and bans. Some of the top players have faced suspensions for their actions, ranging from doping to match fixing. While it's important to remember their mistakes, it's also crucial to acknowledge their talent and contributions to the sport. That's it for today. Don't forget to hit the bullseye to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. Also, take a look at our website for the coolest darts gear ever. Thanks for watching. See you next time.